Hi to all. In this video, we will be marking the book back answers for 10th standard social science, economics, unit 2, globalization and trade. We shall start from choose the correct answer. First one, who is the head of the World Trade Organization, WTO? Answer is B, Director General. Second one, Colonial Advent in India. Here the word colonial advent refers to the countries which entered into India for colonization and their chronological order. The answer is A. Portuguese, Dutch, English, Danish and French. Third one. Gat. G-A-T-T. Gat's first round held in. The first round refers to the conference. It was held in Geneva. Fourth one, India signed the Dunket. The spelling is given as K-E-T. It should be K-E-L, Dunkel. Dunkel proposal in 1994. Uh, this proposal was laid by one of the general, uh, director generals, Mr. Arthur Dunkel. Fifth one, who granted the English Golden Fireman in 1632? Answer is Sultan of Golconda. The word Golden Fireman, it refers to a special permission to the English which was given by the Sultan of Golconda. According to this uh, special permission, they were able to have free trade among the important harbours in the Sultan, in the Sultanate. Sixth one, foreign investment policy FIP was announced in July to August 1991. A foreign investment policy means the policy or conditions regarding uh, investment from the foreign countries, from other countries. Seventh one, Indian government was, please remove that word, Indian government introduced Dash in 1991. Answer is C. New economic policy. Fill in the blanks. First one. A better economy introduce rapid development of the capital market. The word capital refers to the money invested for beginning of any activity like industries or for trade. And so the market for the capital. Capital market was the uh, better economy introduced rapid development of the market, capital market. WTO agreement came into force from 1995. The year is 1995. World Trade Ag Organization agreement. It started from January 1st. Third one, the term globalization was invented by Theodore Levitt. It was first coined and invented by Theodore Levitt. Match the following. First question. Multinational corporation in India. One of the MNCs in India. It is Infosys. Second one MNC. Multinational corporation. Uh, so answer is minimize cost of production. Actually... MNC refers to an organization that is that owns or controls the products or services from one country with the other countries. Third one, GATT, G-A-T-T, that uh, word, it is an abbreviation, G-A-T-T, it refers to General Agreement on Trade and Tariff, G, General, A, Agreement, T on trade and T tariff. Answer is 1947. The first draft of GATT was uh, in, released in the year 1947. Fourth one, 8th Uruguay round, 1986. Actually, Arthur Dunkel drafted the Dunkel draft for this 8th Uruguay round. In the year 1986, WTO, World Trade Organization, it is to enforce international trade with the among all the countries. 
give short answers what is globalization answer is in page number 303 you can see here globalization globalization is the integration of a country with the world economy basically globalization signifies a process of internationalization plus liberalization now here internationalization and globalization both have more or less the same meaning the next question is second one write the types of globalizations again you have the answer for this in that same page 303 you have a flow chart here and the stages here refers to the types archaic globalization proto globalization and modern globalization next question third one write short note on multinational corporation page number 306 here you have a separate paragraph multinational corporation multinational corporation is a corporate organization which owns or controls production of goods or services in at least one country other than its home country next question what are the reforms made to adopt globalization page number 305 what were the reforms made to adopt globalization once when globalization was introduced in the world india made many changes in the economic policies to adopt globalization and here in page number 305 you have three points and in page number 306 you have three more points you are asked to write any two so go through these six points and choose any two answer which is easy for you to learn next question what is fair trade the answer is in page number 307 fair trade you can see here under the side heading fair trade practices and world trade organization fair trade is a way of doing business that ultimately aims to keep small farmers an active part of the world marketplace and aims to empower consumer to make purchases that support their values next question write any two principles of fair trade practices page number 307 and 308 any two principles here you have principles of fair trade organization in this page you have two points and next page again you can find five more points only you have to write two points so go through this these points and choose by yourself the next question write short notes on trips and trims page number 308 here you have only about trips trips means trade related aspects of intellectual property right that is only abbreviated as trips and the other one trims it is not found in this book as uh, it, i think the paragraph related with the trims have been removed during the realignment of the lessons so this is for trips intellectual property rights may be defined as information with a commercial value and a trips patent shall be available for any invention whether product or process in all fields of industrial technologies trips agreement covers seven areas of intellectual property rights actually when we read this one i remember about uh, one of the patent what we were tr trying to get in the world was up for the basmati rice the process and also the product itself belong to india and we have a patent right for basmati rice in india and many more uh, things like that are been in uh, registered in this trips next question write any two positive impact of globalization page number 308 here you have 
impact of globalization positive impact nearly six points are given so choose any two by yourself whatever is easy for you to learn and have in mind next is the brief answer brief answer you can find these answers in the same heading in these page numbers where i have marked first question in 307 second question in 308 third question in 309 so go through these answers mark the points whatever you have to or you can learn and you can prepare well all the best and thank you all